Hi everyone, I'm here with something that I don't normally do. It's a journal flip. Now, I'm not a big fan of watching journal flips on YouTube, so if you are not a fan either, please feel free just to ignore this video. Switch it off and move on to the next one. Um, I prefer watching process videos um, and so in turn I mainly just do process videos so I think this is the first time I've ever done a journal flip and the reason is because it's a momentous occasion because I have completed this journal now this journal was one that my daughter Mandy made for me it's got it had a blank canvas cover white canvas cover on it um, and I just painted the inside and outside covers and put the elastic closure on it just like that so it's done a lot of these pages I had done process videos for on YouTube um, but there may be some in here that I've done process videos on Ustream live Ustream recordings speaking of which I um, I start I had requests to upload Ustream recordings because after 30 days on recorded on Ustream they delete them from your channel so I thought I'd upload them to my well to this channel but I got a um, a comment posted on the first one that I put up which I hope to go back to to, to select it as private before anyone watched it so I could make an announcement that it was a live Ustream recording with people that I'm chatting to throughout so I had a, a comment saying that they didn't like that and that she's not gonna watch anymore and bye so okay so I thought right well I'm and I'm not a fan of having them either on my YouTube channel um, so I decided to um, put them over on my other YouTube channel, the one that I had when the Google YouTube merger came through. I already had a, a Google account under another name and so I'll put the link um, in here somewhere on the video and in the description to the other my other channel with the Ustream recordings now there's not a lot there yet so bear with me okay so I thought because I've done all the pages first and I thought right well um, the the and they're all double page spreads in here so the first and the last pages were just individual ones so I thought well it's a story in itself so I decided to do once upon a time and the end pretty basic um, pages those two were so um, and I th well this one was one of my first pages that I did and it was done I'd actually dated this one the 13th of June 2015 so it's taken me over two years to get this journal done now I work in other journals as well um, I don't always do pages in one journal and move to the next one I alternate so I have quite a few journals here that I do that um, so that's that one this one here I'm not a fan of but um, it is what it is I think there were that's washi tape and just stencils and sprays and stuff in the background there this one here I did do a process video I thought but then something happened to the video and the recording most of the recording got lost so it didn't get um, uploaded anywhere this one here was a YouTube recording I'm pretty sure um, so nice and bright which if anyone knows me I'm, I'm not usually I have I wasn't way back then a fan of brights so that was always vintage and grunge looking so that was that was a big thing for me I love anything with white space so hence that page there and this one here was at my was a, an attempt to draw but I ended up um, just sticking some 
um, her Google images over there. So an attempt at whimsy. <laughs> this one here um, is a very basic one. Um, love is a, a game two can play and both win. So it was yeah, very basic page that one. I think I uploaded that one. I love this one only probably because of the colours. Greens and blues I love. Um, my favourite mixture is blues and green, uh, blues and browns. This one here I actually drew that butterfly. <laughs> and there you'll see my blues in the background. So I mean, there's a lot of texture in the background there too. I think there might be texture paste on that one. This one here I'm not a big fan on. It was, and I tend to think that napkins, when you apply napkins on pages, it dulls the page. And that's probably what I don't like about napkin art. Oh, sticking together. Um, blues and greens, again, <laughs> with the black. And I must say that I love the black um, addition to pages. This one was a, um, gave me a lot of grief. It was trying to do the crackle accent, like crackle medium effect there so it sort of didn't work out too well because it didn't show too much of the background underneath but it is what it is. This one here playing with um, embossing glitter embossing powder here which uh, I don't think a lot of us actually they, we love the look of it but actually working with it's a bit messy. This one here was probably one of my first reveal pages. I love doing backgrounds and then putting either black or white or another solid cover over it. But uh, these were masked off when I put the white on. So for that to appear, then that's the background there as well. So I like the reveal technique. Uh, this one here was a Ustream recording. It was a sort of a play on the Dilutions brand because I used mostly dilution some products on there so 50 shades of delusions okay um, and I did a PG one of those <laughs> that's a bit of a an M rated um, just played around with flowers and I think that one's a bit too messy too busy um, I love this one nice and bright as I said earlier I'm into starting to get into a lot of bright and whimsical um, things on my pages so and this one was just because I had that stencil and I really wanted to use it um, that was a bit of a fail um, another whimsical one where I didn't think it was one of my better ones um, playing with flowers here and stencils and overlapping and using masks so that they look like they're behind and in front and all that sort of thing so uh, um, and then I became interested in the whimsical houses so I like that page then I tried to I think seal it and the um, pencil the water activated pencil brown so anyway it is what it is this one I love this is a napkin also and it's one of those pages where you don't mind it being dulled down that's just an image printed onto deli paper and adhered to the page and I printed it using my inkjet printer I'm not a big fan of this one either I think it's a bit dull and these here are napkins and that's probably why it's dull because there are napkins underneath there I um, had fun with this one, doing a tip-in, um, so put the background and a tip-in there. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door, so I really like that one. Again, my browns. Oh, that one's quite bright there. Um, bit of texture in the background there and lots of pink. Love this one. Silas Art, I think. Um, on YouTube has um, a video on hers which I emulated with this one just love what she did and how she uses a makeup brush to feather the paints around the page it was just brilliant so I had to have a try that one this one love because of the colors again and the vintage so I, I haven't gone away from the vintage but I am in trying in, to incorporate um, whimsy and, and brights and things and love 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 this this is Marta um, that I um, was ins I was inspired by 
to create this page. And circles, bubbles, you just can't go wrong with them, I don't think. I love them. Oops, had a bit of a stickiness. Okay, um, another whimsical page here. Uh, attempt at drawing a tree. Bit of a fail, but anyway, and the end. So there we go. One journal fully completed. I've got a, a Dilusions one that's about, oh, it's about 10, 12 pages ready to go, but there you go. Um, I decided to leave the binding, the Coptic stitch and thread there for now. I may cover it later on, I don't know, but um, it is what it is. It's a completed journal. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.